We know that Michigan is a special place with countless woods, lakes, and rivers. We know that our economy is dependent on our fresh water and lakes. We know that our health is dependent on fresh and clean water. And we know that because of this, we have been tasked with an incredible responsibility to be good stewards of our natural resources. And we all know this deep in our hearts. But now I'm going to tell you what I know, and what I know from living in a district with a contaminated plume of water. About the time I was graduating from college in my district, there was the discovery that we had a known corporate polluter who had for over two decades been dumping 1,4-dioxane into a stream behind their facility. We knew who the polluter was. We knew they knew that what they were dumping was wrong. But it still has taken over 20 years to attempt to contain the pollution. We've negotiated. We've gone to court. There have been delays. There have been stalls. And what's been the result? The drinking water for the city, one of the wells, has been permanently closed. My rural residents on individual private wells every day. Our closing wells have contamination creeping closer and closer to them. So over the past two years, we've negotiated a cleanup standard from 85 parts per billion to 7.2. And you want me to go back to my district and say, hey, that corporate polluter who's causing you to not have clean drinking water in your private property residential well, that corporate polluter who's going to burden our township with tens of millions of dollars to extend city water surfaces, sur uh, services, that corporate polluter has appealed to a board of corporations who sits on top of us as legislators, on top of your local government officials, who sits on top of you and will now take another year, 18 months, two years to decide if it's okay that your personal property is contaminated. I'll take a break while we gather some attention, perhaps. Members, the courtesy of your attention, please. Chair recognizes Representative Lisinski. So colleagues, as we decide that private property rights, the rights to put in a well, the rights to drink clean and fresh water can be abrogated, can be allowed to be set aside as pollution creeps, fails to be contained by a known corporate polluter, and we want to give that permission to his corporate polluting buddies, I urge you to join me in opposition to this legislation. Thank you.